well and thank you so so much for watching um i keep meaning to say this on my vlogs um but i usually forget but if you like watching then please please feel free to subscribe on the button below um and thank you so much for watching again um so i have a few little sewing things to talk to you about so it's sort of a general sewing update for you all in all honesty i haven't had much time to sew at all lately um mostly because we've had um also sorry if this is like turning into like a fam a walker family um health update vlog um i don't mean for that to happen so we um i've had norovirus like winter vomiting virus and then two weeks after that because i can't remember actually i think i just had that on when i filmed my last vlog um, and then lo and behold exactly two weeks after that I got another sickness bug um, so that's been horrible uh, we've all had it and um, extended family have had it as well it has just swept the family like wildfire um, so that's been really really nasty and really knocked us for six like feeling so tired and poorly every time I stood up I just felt like I was gonna puke um, so it's awful but anyway I'm loads loads better now Otis is getting there and Harvey's doing okay he's nearly there it's sort of dragging on a little bit um, but anyway I've when I've had time to sew um, like last weekend I had some time to sew but um, I couldn't I just couldn't get up out of bed it was horrible so um, I have done not that much but um, I say that but I have finished a new dress that I'm wearing now so that's kind of one of the main things I wanted to show you on this vlog and I've also filmed some little pieces so you can sort of see on other bits of video what the dress looks like so I'm just gonna jump in and just tell you what I've made and um, yeah so this is Friday Pattern Company the Lucida dress let me just make sure that focuses yeah so this was a pattern that I picked up at Backstitch um, a few weeks back and I just I'd seen it before and thought I quite like it um, but never I don't know why I hadn't ever bought it before then but anyway I did buy it then eventually and um, I have to say this dress I highly recommend for it being A amazing fabulous and B being so quick to make because like I was just saying I've had barely any time to sew but yet I've made a whole dress um yeah so I should probably add that this fabric is the fabric that I showed you on my last vlog and this is stunning stunning fabric I cannot rave about it enough I think on the last vlog I referred to it as being delicious which I'm going to agree with it's um I think it was the colour described as forest green and it's from Sister Mintaka and it's a modal jersey um so let me just try and show you a little bit more so firstly well leading on from that talking about the fabric it was an absolute joy to sew with it was lovely and it's just so soft um just put that down it's so soft stretchy and it's just so lovely to wear um and yeah it's got this nice sort of texture to it oh yeah it was also described as like a peach skin which hopefully this will focus but you'll be able to see i'm i'm really i don't mean to make you look at my boobs but that is happening right now i'm sorry but you can you can see the fabric all right um yeah it has been so lovely to sew with um i really think i'm gonna go and buy like the other colors cause, and actually the the color ranges um were all like sort of really deep and rich like really beautiful stunning colors so um yeah massively recommend it um if you want to sew some jersey something in jersey anyway it's so perfect for a dress um yeah so i'm going to be wearing this with some tights for work um and getting some wear out of it so yeah uh, the pattern amazing so um it's oh, what 
I think, I think you'd describe the bodice as being, it's like double, double faced. I don't know if that's the right, the right expression or words or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, it's got two sides to it. So you're making and, and fixing together two bodices basically. Um, so you're, yeah, so you're making these, um, let me show you, these like two tunnels here that go through the bodice, through the inside of that sandwich that you've made. Um, and yeah, these ties that you've also made just run through that and then you just um, pull them and it just ruches and it's just beautiful. Look at that beautiful, just ruches up. And I mean, that's testament to the fabric as well. It's just, it's come together beautifully. I'm really pleased with this. Um, yeah, so it was just super easy to make. Um, I the only thing I did find with this is, um, and I don't know, it might might well have just been my fault, um, but the back was a little bit gapy. I do with patterns. I tend to find that if I have to make an adjustment, I almost always have to make uh, like a gaping neckline adjustment. And um, yeah, so this was this was gapy at the back. But I have, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I have put a couple of darts in to just try and rectify that situation, um, which is fine. I don't know, I may have just stretched it out when I was making it, so I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, I've put those darts in, I think they look fine, and I am really happy with the dress. So, yeah, really, really highly recommend it. Um, so, yeah, make yourself a Lucida dress really easy so 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 quick um yeah so that i needed this i tell you i hadn't sewn for so long i was craving it i was going crazy like at work for example in my break times and um or even in the evenings when i was lying in bed um i was just like dreaming so much about all these things i want to make and all these sewing things things that i want to get done in the sewing room and it was driving me mad and I was nearly at the point of tears because I just needed some time for myself because um, I've been poorly, Harvey's been away travelling for work and obviously I'm like juggling a full time job and Otis um, so it's been crazy and I've described when Harvey goes away I do describe it as having to go into survival mode um, so we, we do all the basics, make sure the basics are covered but there's nothing more than that so we're fed, we're watered, we're warm, we're, Otis is clean, me not so much, <laughs> but um, sacrifices you have to make, hey. Uh, so yeah, it's been a bit crazy, so I just felt like I really needed that like me, real me time, and it's just done me the world of good. So I've just, I've flown in here, I think I'd already cut out some of this, or maybe not, um, but it came together so quick, and then once you see the quick rewards of a whole finished beautiful dress like super quick I was like oh, I love sewing and I'm it just made me feel so much better about life uh, just really really needed that Um yeah so uh, I also wanted to talk to you about some, um, my next project that I've got lined up so I've got a weekend away at the start of March well actually me and Harvey we're going away um, to a place in Suffolk called Wilderness Reserve and I am so excited about this. Um, it's going to be the first time we've spent two nights on the trot away from Otis. Um, so a little bit um, very excited but also mixed with um, apprehension and nerves and um, a sprinkling of guilt there as well but um, just how it is. Uh, so Anyway, um, we're actually going there um, for um, sort of a getaway with some of my work people and there's like a dinner on the Saturday night so I just thought, oh my god, this place we're going is so nice and fancy. I was like, I'm making myself a fancy dress because I really, really want to. I don't often get these occasions where I can make something fancy, which I love making, but also having an occasion to match what I want to make so I was like no sod it I am going all out and I'm making something that I am craving to make and um, so let me just show you what my plan is so I've already shown you this pattern um, that I was banging on about I think oh someone make nine um yeah someone make nine 
Uh, so this is the Deer and Doe Magnolia. I'm one million percent making the maxi dress version. Um, I was a little bit worried that it's going to be a bit booby. Uh, but pff, I think my arms are covered, my legs will be pretty much covered apart from the slit going up and it will look glam. So I don't, I don't get a chance to ever really look that glam. Um, apart from now. <laughs> Right now, actually, I do feel a little bit glamorous in this dress, I'll be honest. <laughs> so I have, um, I've been fabric shopping online, um, which I usually do most of my fabric shopping online. And um, I'd already received a sample of this fabric and I fell in love with it when I saw it, but it was so pricey. I knew I needed the, per like, the perfect pattern to match and do testament to this fabric. And I can't wait to show you. So I hope you're ready for this. I'm trying not to show you that. Uh, so this, it has been machine washed, so it's a little bit um, wrinkly. Oh my goodness. Can we just talk about this? It's a bamboo silk from Ray Stitch. And it is, uh, the colours described as saffron. Um, I think I'd describe it as fabric gold. It is so nice it's just amazing it's got the like a, a heavy drapiness to it like can you hear that it's actually got a sound when I'm throwing it around it's actually got a sound um, and it's just like you're gonna see how that's gonna flow so nicely on the dress oh my god I'm loving it even more seeing it on the screen it's so nice but it has cost me an arm and leg. Um, I had to buy, I think I bought five metres to make this dress. So it was quite an investment, but I, I, like, I attached to it and I kept dreaming about this, you know, when I was saying about dreaming about sewing stuff, it was like this fabric I've been dreaming about, but it's just gonna look so nice. I mean, look at it. Ah, it's gonna look so good. Let me just hold this up and with this. What do we think? It's gonna look nice, right? It's gonna look amazing. <gasps> Can't wait, I'm so excited. So I need to start cutting that out um, pretty soon, because I've only got a few weeks until I go. Um, so if anyone's got any like top tips for sewing with silk, because I don't think I ever have sewn with actual silk before. I think I've sewn with like viscose and more like slippery fabrics which this is so I'm thinking I might try and do a little test with some spray starch to stiffen it um, but yeah if anyone's got any like tips when that that they found useful for sewing silk then I am all ears because I do not want to screw this up um, I'm gonna definitely twirl that dress first because I want to get the fit just perfect before I cut this so yeah that's like my it's gonna be quite a, like a big project to have in the pipeline going on so um so yeah i'm just I, I i've got it in my mind's eye and i'm excited i can always like see my blog photos in the distance like i'm gonna um yeah just like in the countryside and it's gonna be amazing um yeah so that's that's as much as i've thought if i get any extra time then i wouldn't mind making some other bits and pieces to take with me there um, but I don't know probably more like practical things like a, a cool jumper or actually I don't really need any more jumpers I've got loads I don't know I'll have a think about that anyway um, um, and then the other thing I've been like working on and thinking about making is a couple of um, I am Apollon jumpers so I've got that all cut out for making a men's one for Harvey um, so it's ready to go. This was one of the things that I was really disappointed that I didn't have time to sew when I was poorly. Um, but last night I managed to whip up a little mini a mini jumper for Otis and it's the same fabric. So I just kind of wanted to show you um, yeah, what I've been doing anyway. It didn't take long at all to make this and this fabric's from Ray stitch um, and it is so nice it's a fleecy um, like a fleecy sweatshirting so and that is so so soft it's so lovely um, yeah so I'm pretty pleased with that it's really plain though so I'm trying to think of ways I can jazz it up I think 
I'd quite like to try some of the happy fabric like vinyls but I don't know what sort of design to put on there. Um, we do call Otis peanut quite a lot so I was thinking I might do a little little like peanut on his chest or something there. Um, I don't know or his name or I'll have to have a think of something cute and cool to put on there anyway. So hopefully um, I'm going to have one of these for each of us. Harvey said we're going to look like a little football team. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. So I've had, to, you know, I've, I have done all right really, considering I haven't had much time. Um, I have managed to do a couple things. I've also got a sew over it um, cocoon coat cut out, ready to go. That is waiting to get started with the welt pockets. So that needs. A, you know a little bit of time when I can focus on it rather than it being like a quick sew thing which is all I seem to have time for lately but um, I really want to get making that soon though because it's like getting into spring it'll be so perfect for spring um, so yeah I'm gonna get going on that as soon as I get time so I'm I'm just really enjoying my sewing lately I've just properly got some sojo running through my veins um, yeah, so I also, I've been thinking about um, future vlogs and I, um, firstly to say, I love everyone's comments. When all you guys comment on these videos, it really makes my day. I don't always get time to reply to everyone, but thank you. I really, really, they, I super love your comments. So I was wondering if there's anything any of you guys have ideas for of um, what you'd like me to talk about on vlogs in the future, then just you know, drop in the comments. I'm totally all ears. Um, some ideas that I've had was, were things like showing you my like favourite sewing tools, um, things like where I get my like sewing inspiration from, um, anything. But please do drop me drop me a comment. Um, that'd be really interesting to know. So I think that's everything from me, guys. So thank you so much for watching and. I'm going to be back again, hopefully, in the next week or two. No, definitely in the next week or two. There's going to be no more illness in this family. Um, touch wood. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye.